ectomes and chimulchondromaxoi tumor, a comprehensive updated review of the literature and case report. Astrid Trusneg, Stefan Akum, Lumnige Kiku, Norbert Jacks and Alfred Beham. International Journal of Oral Science Volume 10, Article No. 4, 2018. DOI, 10.1038-S4136801700031. Abstract Prompted by a unique case of an ectomzinchimal chondromaxoid tumor, ECT, of the palate in a 54-year-old female, we reviewed the English and German literature on this entity until the end of 2016 using PubMed. The search produced 74 lingual cases with a nearly equal sex distribution and a mean age of 39.3 years, and two extralingual cases sharing histological and immunohistological features including nodular growth, round, fusiform or spindle-shaped cellular architecture, and chondromaxoid stroma. Immunophenotyping showed the majority of cases to be positive for glial fibra areocytic protein, GFAP, S100 protein, glycoprotein CD57, pancytocaratin, AE1AE3, and smooth muscle actin, SMA. In isolated cases there was molecular genetic rearrangement or gain of viewing sarcoma breakpoint region 1, EWSR1 but no rearrangement of pleomorphic adenoma gene 1, PLAG1. At present, ectomes and chimel cells that migrate from the neural crest are considered to play a pivotal role in tumor origin. All cases had a benign course, although there were three recurrences. Because of the rarity of this tumor and the need for differential diagnostic differentiation from myopithelioma and pleomorphic adenoma, both oral surgeons and pathologists should be aware of this entity. Introduction Ectomes and Chimel Chondromaxoi Tumor, ECT, is a very rare lesion almost exclusively occurring in the tongue. At present 74 lingual cases have been reported in the English and German literatures, nearly equally affecting males and females with a mean age of 39.3 years. 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8,9,10,11,12,13,14,15,16,17,18,19,20,21,22,23,24,25,26,27,28,29,30,31,32,33,34,35,36,37,38,39,40,41,42,43,44,45,46,47,48,49,50,
The lesion was located between the first and second incisor on the right upper jaw, figure 1. The patient reported that she had the lesion for a long time, it had grown larger within recent months but was painless. A preoperative x-ray showed no tumor involvement of the neighboring maxillary bone, figure 2. Clinical differential diagnoses comprised apiliform lesions, most likely a fibroma or peripheral ossifying fibroma. The lesion was totally excised down to the periosteum under local anesthesia, ultracane dental registered 4%, Sanofi Aventis, Frankfurt am Main, Germany, and examined histopathologically by one of us, A.B. A follow-up after 41 months showed no recurrence. Figure 1 Figure 1. Tumor-like lesion between the first and second incisor on the palatal aspect of the right upper jaw. Full-size image. Figure 2. Figure 2. X-ray showing no involvement of the underlying bone. Full-size image. Pathological examination. The operative specimen measured 7 to 5 colon 3 m and was covered by an otherwise inconspicuous mucous membrane. The cut surface showed gelatinous tissue. Microscopically, the specimen was covered superficially by a reactive hyperplastic squamous epithelium. A multinodular lesion was found in the underlying stroma, figure 3. The nodules varied in size and consisted of myxoid, chondroid stroma, in which many cells, mostly spindle-shaped, were embedded, figures 4 and 5. In general, the nodules were rich in cells, often showing eosinophilic cytoplasm. The nuclei were enlarged and hyperchromatic in some places, exceptionally with nucleoli. Paranuclear cytoplasmic vacuolization was seen in many cells. With the exception of tiny nodules, each nodule was surrounded by dense, capsule-like tissue. There were no ductal structures. Immunohistochemically the lesional cells showed variable expression of S100 protein and smooth muscle actin, SMA. The Kiel 67 protein, Ki67 associated cellular proliferation rate was 5%. Interestingly, there were few nodules without any S100 protein and SMA positive cells, figure 6A and B. No cells were immunoreactive for pancytocaratin, glial fibra areacidic protein, GFAP, and cytocaratin, CK14. Figure 3 Figure 3 Scanning microscopy demonstrating a multinodular lesion in the stroma. Full-size image. Figure 4 Figure 4 Individual tumor nodule with round to spindle-shaped cells set in myxoid stroma. Full size image. Figure 5. Figure 5. Tumor cells mainly arranged in a swirling pattern. Full size image. Figure 6. Figure 6. Immunohistochemical image of the tumor cells. A variable expression of S100 protein by the tumor cells. B. Most of the tumor cells express smooth muscle actin, SMA.